So, starting right off, Daniel was a very layered character, and we got to see bits of his struggle in season one. In season mm -hmm. two, was there anything that you personally were looking forward to advancing as far as Daniel's storyline? Mm. Yeah, there's a lot that I was um, looking forward to um, advancing, right? I, I, I'm, I'm like, let's talk about it, <laughs> right? Daniel was uh, a, a little vocal in season one. He gets even more vocal in season two. Um, and uh, I, I, I love for us to, to discuss and talk about the things that, you know, roam and sit. Daniel will be the one to be like, oh, no, that's the elephant. In the, is the elephant in the room? Did anybody notice there's an elephant right over there? Um, and so I love what he does this season, right? Daniel is the first person to uh, start talking about, he, he did last season, but he's talking more about systemic racism within the workplace. He's talking about, um, he's the first one to, to talk about COVID. He he talks about the news needs to be um, uh, the uncomfortable things that people don't want to talk about. So I just love that about Daniel. I've um, been a person who from time to time, I will do a call out, right? A call out is being like when I call truth to power and injustice. And that's one of the things I just really, really appreciate that the writers are continue to delve in. And, um, you know, we hear more and more of Daniel's voice. Was there that you wanted to really target in on that for you personally felt like, yeah, this is the one that um, the audience is going to resonate with. They can resonate with all of the things that Dan talks about, but this is the one that touches me personally. Well, I think, you know, what I was looking for or, or what I'm always looking for is uh, where Daniel's journey intertwines with mine and, and where I think uh, Daniel's journey can be impactful to people. And I think the not just Daniel, but the people of color within the work, within the morning show, have a very relatable story. And the relatable story about it is like, how as a person of color, do you function within a white space, right? In a space that is not necessarily set up for you. And I also think that we need to keep in mind that people of color are actually the majority of the world. <laughs> So they are the global majority. And so this feeling of being set up in a, uh, a, a workspace or situation that is not inclined natu naturally culturally to me is, a fe is, is something that we can all relate to, right? So that's what I really wanted to um, delve into. And I think that we're doing more and more of that within season two of The Morning Show to examine how you function and the impact, the toil, the cost, the trauma that is associated in terms of uh, working and surviving in these spaces.